going to see a little bit more come tomorrow with the disturbance we're tracking up to the north, maybe even a few isolated rain showers up near the Grand Canyon, but that's going to be the only spot that'll see them. The rest of the state, just a few clouds up north, clear skies to the south, and we keep that forecast dry as we head through the next couple of days. So tomorrow, 51 degrees at 6 a.m. for Phoenix, still in the 50s at 9, but lunchtime we kick in those 70s, afternoon highs in the upper 70s to low 80s across the valley, which is more or less near normal for this time of year. That average is 78, and we'll see highs at 78 in Paradise Valley and Scottsdale tomorrow. 79 in Mesa and Chandler and 80 degrees in Queen Creek. Also 80 in Ahwatukee and in the West Valley. 80 degrees in Glendale tomorrow with Goodyear and Buckeye at 78 and Avondale and Peoria at 79 degrees. Now across the state tonight, still a lot of freezes on the map. Prescott down to 30. Five step at 21. Freezes along the rim northeast to the four corners. 40 tonight in Globe and 44 down in Casa Grande. Tomorrow there 78 and temperatures in the 60 north of the valley. As you head up into the Flagstaff area, we'll see that drop off into the 50s or a cool afternoon tomorrow. Now, here's the next seven days. We're going up to 90 degrees on Thursday, possibly our first 90 degree day of the year. But a cold front is coming right after that big warm up. We drop into the 70s for Friday and the weekend, and we even have a slight chance of a few spotty showers late Thursday into Friday. Amber, thank you. Running from Nazi soldiers trying to survive the unimaginable more than seven decades later, a valley woman's life is coming full circle. She is planning a journey back to Europe to reunite with the family that helped her hide. ABC 15's Mike Pelton spoke with her today about the chance encounter and her journey into the past. The German didn't get me, but they brand me. 85-year-old Charlotte Edelman. It's always there. I can never forget. Born in Paris and Jewish, she has the mental scars of the Holocaust. I'm amazed that I'm alive. Sometimes I touch myself. Is it really me? As a 12-year-old girl, her mother taken to a concentration camp, her father joined the resistance. Charlotte tells me she was left with a family in eastern France who hid her in a cellar. I was scared, but I said I have to exist to be able to see my parents back. Nine months with a mattress and no windows, Charlotte says one night she convinced the family to let her come upstairs. And that night, the German and the police comes in. Charlotte tells me she hid as the Germans searched the house with the family sticking a bar of soap in their 40-year-old son's mouth to keep him from calling her name. I was so grateful to that family. That family saved my life. Charlotte survived, reunited with her father after the war, and eventually moved here to Arizona, losing touch with that family along the way. Until she saw a Facebook message in 2016 from that boy, Alan. It was really very special. Charlotte and Alan now write to each other. I couldn't believe that he remembered. He said that bow soap dramatized him. The written words turning to a face-to-face -face meeting when Charlotte flies to France in July. I'm going to hug him and, and we're going to invite him for dinner, you know. So much to talk about more than 70 years later. Mike Pelton, ABC 15, Arizona. Kind of a remarkable story and one that's